hey what's up guys so here on the screen you can see a flower illustration in a line art style simple strokes nothing else now this is looking good but in my opinion there is something missing in it it does not look the way i want it to look there is something missing that is you know just something lacking in it which i feel like there is something lacking but uh, sometimes you cannot tell what it is so if i just add color to it you know this still looks fine but still it feels like it that it lacks something what if i can tell you that you can convert this kind of line illustration inside affinity designer into something like that this is more kind of an organic looking design you can see here we have line style which are more like when you do it on the paper using a pencil or or a pen so if i just color this one and compare it with the previous one you can clearly see that this bottom one is more beautiful more good looking and it is more appealing so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can convert a simple illustration like that this one above here into something like that that you are seeing here at the bottom so guys if you are interested in that let's get started So I'm just going to create a new document here and it does not matter which size just I want to demonstrate what are the tools and the features that you can use to create that kind of illustration. So if I just use this pen tool and maybe just create a simple line like that you know a simple line with a curvature and maybe make it stroke a little bit wider so you can easily see it like that so this is something that you can easily create using the pen tool and you can create that kind of illustration which i showed you earlier using the pen tool or maybe if you want to create uh, something like that you can organic you can create similar style of design using a pencil tool as well but how to achieve that variable width to our lines or our strokes now if you already know adobe illustrator there is a tool called I think it's called variable width stroke, variable stroke width, something like that, that kind of tool. But the similar tool is not present inside Affinity Designer. But there is a tool inside Affinity Designer which we can use to get similar kind of look and create similar kind of illustrations. And that tool, or actually it's not a tool, it's more of a feature, is present in this stroke in here, in the style of what kind of width you get. So you can either assess it from there and also you can assess it over here in the appearance panel and that feature is here it's called the pressure feature I'm going to show you exactly how to use this pressure feature because there are some tricks and tips which you need to know to use it more efficiently so currently you can see that it's this, this area here this sphere here is more of a darker blue and here on the other side this sphere is kind of like has a white center so if i just drag this one down you can see what is happening to our stroke width so it is narrowing down at the start now if i select this one and uh, bring it down here you can see that it's narrowing down, down towards the end like that so if i just bring it here and maybe create another point here and bring it up you can see that I can easily create a variable width to it so maybe narrow down here and maybe something like that so this is how you can achieve this kind of effect now I'm going to show you how you can uh, get a little bit more control over this feature so let me just reset here so currently you can see that just look at the squares let me just select this hand tool so that we do not see the outlines our on our line so again i'm just going to select this one and in the appearance panel i'm going to select this and use this pressure now look at the square at the both hands the first one is completely filled with blue color another one is filled with kind of like a white color so if i select this one and bring it down the other one stays there and now if i want to bring this one down 
you can see that it's acting weird it both of sides are actually moving down we are not able to move one side down you might be saying what is happening is still blue but it's still it's not working like the way i want it to work i wanted to create a profile here but it is not doing gaming like that so the reason is that look just look at it you are seeing a small white dot or a square inside that blue square in the same way you are seeing a small blue dot inside that square so if i just click this again and make it completely blue you can see that on the other side that small blue dot also disappears so now i can move this one down and control individual side like that now if i just create another point here you can see that both ends are now white but in the center we have a blue square now i can just manipulate it like that now if i want to keep this center point like that i can select this one and now you can see that the center one is completely white and on the other towards the ends we are have a small white square and a small blue square inside that bigger square and now if we just move this one down the other side moves like that and you get this kind of like a hair like profile to your stroke weight now if i just bring this one down i can easily control it in the same way i can create another point here let me just create here and maybe bring this one up and maybe let's just create another point inside this one so like that and create a stroke like that so in this way you can get an organic look for your strokes whatever you want so as you can see here in the graph you can easily control the position where you want that width and where you want a uh, kind of like a thinner area like that so if you want it like that you can create it like that and maybe somewhat like that and maybe create another one like that so that totally depends upon you how you want to see your design so i'm just going to delete this one select this point and delete it select that point and delete it as well i just want to have kind of like uh you can see that something that i want to you know more streamlined and i just can make this one a little bit lower maybe this one to be maximum height or maximum width and this one to be maximum as well so i'm more happy with this kind of design now once you set this profile you can either save it for later use that totally depends upon you but i'm not going to save it at this point so i'm just going to close this previous panel use this uh, black arrow tool to move it and modify it now you can easily modify these points and uh, it will you know change it like that so you can easily you know create the kind of illustration that you want the best thing about this is that once you set that profile now if you want to create a new one you are also going to get the same look for your new line whenever you want to create it does not matter how which size you are creating so you are going to get the same profile of the stroke when you create a new line so that it can be helpful but if you do not want it to behave like that i would recommend that you should save this profile so that you can use the same line with the same style whenever you want to use it now let me show you another best feature of this one the other best feature is that you can use the same thing using a pencil tool so you saw that i have this line with this profile stat as you can see here at the top now instead of a pen tool if i use use a pencil tool and maybe start creating lines you can see that i'm getting that organic look this one like that the same profile is being set up on my you know lines that i'm drawing with the pencil now if you want it to be more uh, smooth you can use this stabilize eraser option and uh, i think you can create a little bit more smooth line let me just delete all of those and so that you can easily see it so using this pencil tool with this stabilizer option i can create a little bit more smoother smoother lines like that so you can easily see that this tool is very powerful in creating more organic like organic looking designs and organic looking illustrations 
so guys that's how easily you can create this kind of this and now you don't have to start with this kind of profile and this kind of uh, look you can use this feature on an already created illustration as well maybe you have previously created some line style illustrations let me just bring that one again so if i just select this one copy it and maybe paste it here so you can use that feature on an already created illustration so if i just go inside that group select all of these uh, curves that i have created all the lines that i have and then inside this i can use that feature again to create a beautiful illustration the way i want so maybe a little bit thicker in the center and maybe thicker at the you know at the start and just finishing at the end like that so you know you don't have to start with this kind of profile you can just apply it on your finished illustration to get a more organic looking or you know kind of like a hand-drawn style of look so guys that's all i wanted to show you in this video and hopefully this video has been helpful in understanding this variable width inside affinity designer if it's so you can like the video and let me know in the comments below what do you think about this feature and this video and if you have any concerns or questions regarding this video you can ask me in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer those questions and hopefully guys i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching